Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. I'm back. We've been here two or three times in the last couple of months, but I'm here to stay. I had to change everything around the setup um, in order for us to be able to have a little peace while we do these readings. So there you have it. You guys do me a favor, please like, share, subscribe to all my day ones, to all the ones that are still rocking with me, the ones that haven't unsubscribed. Um, I love you. I got your six, like you have mine. Um, yeah, and um, to the people that aren't receiving notifications, it's been a lot of people telling me um, via messages that uh, they uh, had to... Sorry, they had to unsub. I mean, they were um, not receiving notifications because uh, YouTube automatically unsubscribed them. So, you guys, if you are listening to this, please subscribe, hit the like button, you know, to be notified when I post a new video. Yep, so we are going to do a love reading to see where you are. Um, I know a lot of people have been in different types of emotional, emotional roller coasters when it comes to making decisions, uh, especially after cancer season. It was a rough period of time for me. Um, yeah, uh, not rough mentally, yeah, the ebb and flows of life, um, meaning that I have so much stuff on my plate that I had to sit back and get things completed because it was a lot, you know. Um, and when all else fails, the only thing I can do is just sit down and be still and just know, and sometimes you have to, do that and walk away and just have a little peace of mind and that's the ebb and flows that's what the will of fortune is here for you know the will of fortune um basically just lets you know that you know everything goes around and around but if you keep rolling with the punches and you keep going with everything and it's like you'll never really get any um any peace or any grace not grace i'm saying that wrong you'll never get any yeah uh you never get any justif justice or any type of, um, what is it called, energy, um, oh, I'm having a brain freeze right now, but you'll never get any kind of resolve, that's what I want to say, so you had to end things, death energy, you know, death at the end is a transformation that brings new beginnings along with the emperor, to be able to have some type of stability, to be able to make those decisions, whether right or wrong, whether you feel like it's, you, you know, you have the strength to be able to do this. You had to do this for your for your peace. And that is how I see this energy that's coming out. Yeah, because emperor and yeah, this is justice. I, I was saying justice. Did you guys hear me say justice? So bottom of the deck is justice. I'll put these cards here and put this here. That's the bottom of the deck is justice. The world is underneath the justice card. But you have to understand that when it comes to you and your peace, you have to be able to walk away from the things that no longer serve you in order for you to be happy. But there you go, pulling your energy back, even though you don't know. But that is the clarity that you have to have in order for you to see the beauty in things and to see the beauty in why you have to maintain your stability. And um, also with the justice energy, having, the, having that say or the consequences of your actions or, you know, just being able to feel... A certain way um, when you are doing the right thing for yourself and you know when it comes to the emperor energy and the emperor is you creating things excuse me the empress energy is you creating things but the emperor is you respecting yourself in order to be able to do that and that's where the nine of pentacles comes in it's been nine years you've been dealing back and forth with walking away and doing things for yourself and this is you relaxing pulling your energy back this is meditation to me and also, even though you don't know what it's going to be, you have clarity on why you need to recreate your, recreate or to create and be yourself and do things for yourself and respect yourself. And that is where justice comes in at. And so justice is you doing the right thing for yourself. And when it comes to love, sometimes that's not the case. Or when it comes to the people that you love, you know, that's not the case. And so, yeah, the card comes out. Sorry, my TV in the background is very uh, loud um but yeah when it comes to that you have to be able to maintain excuse me and stand your ground and this is unsure energy about yeah how you feel deeply look deeply within discover your soul purpose and in your relationship so you can 
there's nothing, no kind of substance when it comes to relationships and the bond that you have for these people. So the justice is here, recognition. Yeah, you're realizing the world card completion. That's where, so at the bo- underneath the bottom of the deck, the justice, you have um, the world card. And under bond, you have recogni- recogni- recognition. And then we have illusion and we have admire. So yeah, you think that right now it's all an illusion because um, you admire somebody so much that your bond becomes strong because you feel deeply for them, but you're unsure if this is your emotions getting the best of you or, you know, you just really, um, um, you just really not um, looking. It says a love bond that grows stronger over time, you know, so nine years, if it hasn't happened in nine years, there are some questions that you need to ask yourself, but all right, it says it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. And then it says illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection and deeply, again, unsure. Look deeply within within to discover your soul's purpose in your relationship. And so that is where the universe is saying, hey, you have to make some of these decisions that you might not want to make and um, go from there. This is the higher love soul link oracle cards. It's questions or it's categories to see what it is that we should be looking at. Yep, you have to make a decision and cool, calm, and collective. So in the process of that, you have to stay cool, calm, and collective and focus on your skills, special knowledge and skills. And under here is traditional relationships because you want a traditional relationship, but the bond between you and this situation, it's like you're living in a, you're, you're it, it, to me it feels like one-sided energy, one-sided relationships, and therefore the decisions that you have to make is to walk away and end things that no longer serve you after nine years of you giving the benefit of the doubt or seeing potential and oh wait I felt like they might have changed yeah because the cards fell in my lap some cards fell in my not not all of them but I'll pull them yeah um yeah look at that that's how they fell in my lap yeah uh bottom of the deck oh I took that uh yeah locked doors yeah, it's not something that you're able to, and it says observation and watching. You've been watching this situation. You want the traditional relationship, but however, yeah, there's there's no boundaries here because that's what it says. It says dark times, closed off, guilt, and regrets. There's no boundaries here. You water signs. Um, yeah, when it deals with the seasons and cycles, cycles, the ebb and flows of life, when it comes to temptation, seduction, and sorry, I hit my microphone on my bracelet. Um seduction yeah the toxicity this is what this is this is toxic energy you know and so when it comes to that you have to understand the opportunities or the karma that it presents uh for you and stop living out of pride and ego and um, recognize your strengths because um a lot of times we don't leave after nine years because we've been there for so long and we don't want to feel like we waste our wasted our time and so with that being said, sometimes you have to just walk away and it's easier said than done. But at some point, you know, the only thing that you can do is be discreet on how you're doing things. And that's why the universe is saying, because see, this person could have been that way. Black shades, that could mean something to you. But cool, calm and collective is here and also reflecting uh, self-awareness. So in the process of you going and walking away, it's silence. Silence is what's going to change everything for you when it comes to this situation because you're reflecting in regards to what it is that you've been going through, the illusions and admiring a person who is very in- impenetrable or the bond isn't the same as what you feel. And, you know, that's why you hone in on your skills and you start to work on yourself and go from there, if that makes sense. And so sometimes it's easier said than done, but when it comes to the toxicities, you have to be able to make those decisions based upon how you feel at this present moment. So um, I'm going to pull from, let's see, love situations. I'll pull from the love situations and if I need to pull from another deck. This is my first time recording. I have a, oh, I had to get a new computer. And once I got the new computer, uh, my old computer, because uh, my old computer went out. That was another reason. Um, uh, new computer, old computer went out, so I bought a new one, but I'm not sure if this is my, I just hit record after I finally fixed it after a week and a half. I had to fix the settings 
Uh, yeah, thorny rose and finality. Yeah. So, and bottom of the deck is beauty. Again, back to the um, Empress energy, seeing the beauty in yourself. It says intimidated, intimidated by your beauty. So you had to hone in on your skills because this person doesn't want to commit. Reconciliation is here. So we have somebody observing you. We have traditional relationship. I'm looking down um, at my cards. Like I'm down on the floor. Recognize again. Yep. And the world card completion. So final finality, permanent endings, no more chances. Goodbye to the old painful love experiences. Fight for love and worth the trouble. So they're realizing that this is the end and that you, they see the beauty in you. You honed in on your skills. And now they're just like, oh, um, they're going through all these pains because they were at some point uh, wearing the dark shades. They didn't want to admit to you. They had ego too, just as well as you're having ego on how to let them go. They're having ego on not letting you go because they feel like you're going to go out to be with someone else and that is you know how they feel um how i see it um hold on let me pull from this deck what is this Doo -doo -doo -doo. hold on one second oh yeah so we're gonna go to the spiritual journey deck because this is you getting out of the old energies and you know having a awakening you know, sometimes it's easier said than done, and sometimes it's not. So there you have it. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. But, yeah, it was a, I have had a lot going on in these last two or three months. And um, I'm, I, when, when all else fails, this is the card, the four of swords, relax, rest, and that's all you can do. It's no explanation needed at that point. You just have to manifest different and find your truth. Yeah, and intensify. It says the circumstance has come to the surface and must be addressed. And so this is something that somebody might want to address. They've watched you from afar, uh, but, it, you know, you're finding out your truth. And it says perhaps you've been misguided by falsehoods. Now is the time to shine a light on what uh, speaks to your heart and soul. So that is you seeing the beauty in yourself and understanding that, you know, the doors are locked because, again, the type of energy you're in. But, again, you and the bond that you have for people, the way that you love, is you have to learn to see the beauty in yourself and love yourself the way that you love everyone else. Easier said than done. And it sounds like a broken record, but that is where you are. Manifestation. Um, yeah. Uh, practice the law of attraction to attract what you want in your life. What we think is what we create in our physical reality through Thought, meditation, and daily affirmation. So you're in the process of manifesting things by you finding your truth. And therefore, things have stopped you from that. I forgot these cards are right here. I'll pull a couple of tarot. You see these cards tried to come out like that. So I'll go ahead and take that three of wands energy. Yeah, a lack of foresight. You see, it's in the reverse. So you weren't able to see what it is. So the thirst for knowledge is why you had to hone in on your skills and go from there. Um, let's see. Sorry, that was loud. Yeah, the nine of coins. Again, it's in the reverse, though. You are enough. So you had to realize that you are enough. And that's the reason why you had to um, learn about what really set your soul on, find it, on fire, finding your truth, because you had a lack of foresight, the type of energies that are around. And now here it is, celebration, union, uh, commu community support, un uni united, Lovers, ret love, lover returns, homecoming, party, celebration, and weddings. If you are able to do that, then that's that. But the Eight of Coins energy is here. It's over and over again. It's in the reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles is you basically, you know, over, not, it's Eight, eight of Pentacles in the upright is you understanding that, you know, you are learning. But this is just you doing things over and over again insanity basically and trying to expect to, to get the same results and that's the reason why everything is intensifying and you know that a traditional relationship isn't here because you have been doing the same thing over and over again eight nine years so yeah over and over again for eight years ninth year you're actually able to manifest and get the things that you want and that's where manifestation comes in at so um i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the I think that was a good read. It was a good short read, but I'm going to go ahead 
and tell you guys please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working with you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six meaning have my back because i have yours let's pull from the four agreements and then we're going to pull from the crystal deck to see which uh crystal comes out and which chakra you need to focus on i will put the chakras above the link up here and go from there um let me pull from the crystal deck um let's see you guys i miss you guys but you know orange adventuring you know that when things have to get done sometimes you just have to sit still and, and know and that's the reason why i posted that sit still and know and it's so crazy that um, somebody out here doesn't want me to give my messages to you because it just kept blocking me. It just kept blocking me. And, you know, I had to sit back and laugh at it. It was just like, you know what? Those that know, know. And those that rock with me, rock with me. And that's that. So the orange adventuring is confidence, creativity, and energy. So in the process, I haven't I stopped being creative. I've been doing everything else. Just, I, you know, sitting at this desk wasn't a thing and so uh well i sat at this desk but i was more so trying to fix the computer and fix the other one too so anyway i just i, I threw the other one down and bought me another one you know which i'm blessed to be able to do that and then you know worked on all the other things that i had to do so there you have it so, sacral solar plex and heart chakra confidence creativity and energy it says i am confident and filled with vitality and that's just what you need to be i am confident and filled with vitality and hey the four agreements always do your best do your best because you want to that's right it says you you do your best when things uh when, excuse me you do your best when you are enjoying the the actions or doing it in the way that will not have negative repercussions for you you do your best because you want to do it not because you have to do it not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people. So that is why you do your best. And that's the reason why you're learning and finding your truth and you're ending things um, that you have to keep questioning. And it keeps just the, going round and round. It's not the ebb and flow of life anymore. It's called insanity. And that is what you're learning from this. And there's a new opportunity out here under all of these emotions. But the seasons change, you know. And so that is where you are. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this old energy go. Again, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. There you have it. So I now let go of worn out conditions of black doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. I hope this recorded. And if it did, it's coming out the way it is even with the background as a court case. All right, you guys, love you.